this is a young male uh, who had uh, right side uh, stag on stone you can see in the ct scan uh, it is almost completely filling the entire pelvic lcl system and on the left side also the kidney is uh, looking like a poorly functioning kidney so we have planned a, a pcnl in this case so we are demonstrating how the procedure was done uh, in the given case so this is the intra op uh, uh, x ray film uh, where you can see the patient is actually in prone position as we are planning a prone pcnl you can see the radio dense uh, shadow in the renal fossa with the ureter catheter in situ however the stone doesn't look to be very dense so probably it might be a soft stone uh, this is the intra op rgp film now the system got opacified with contrast we routinely perform air pyelogram as well as uh, here you can see air was injected and i am now identifying how to puncture this system so routinely in superior calcial puncture will be done in cases of uh, uh, stagon stones so because that gives access to all the calyces so i am now identifying the superior calyx so you can see i am focusing my needle at the superior calyx level so generally whenever you are puncturing a superior calyx you try to puncture the superior calyx uh, in 0 degree position so always move the CA arm from 0 to 30 degrees to understand the system better uh, now see i am just aligning my needle in the superior calyx so i am seeing in 30 also to see the look for the depth so i am puncturing that it, with bullseye technique i am actually going straight into the superior calyx the c arm is kept in zero degree position and the needle is vertical and we are trying to puncture the superior calyx in that axis so i am assessing the depth sometimes you do reverse 30 in this position see see here now i am showing reverse 30 where you can see the depth of penetration of the needle so uh, now i am slightly pushing it still the uh, needle hasn't reached the kidney now now you see with this movement the kidney starting getting started movement moved so that means you have reached the surface of the kidney now with sudden jerk i have entered into the pcs now see when i'm moving the needle you can clearly see the stone also getting moved now i'm injecting contrast to confirm where i am see when once i am injecting the contrast the system is getting opacified well so this is the point where we are going to enter inside the kidney so after puncture i saw the free uh, efflux of urine through the uh, needle and then I am passing the guide wire. So the guide wire directly has gone into the ureter. So when once the guide wire goes into the ureter, uh, you start dilating the system. We routinely do uh, serial metallic dilatation using the uh, Alkens dilator. So this is first the Alken cannula. You see how I am negotiating it. So whenever you are negotiating the Alkens cannula, always see in 0 and 30 degree axis to see whether your needle is going well. So sometimes you get resistance then you have to align the needle a little bit more vertical and try to negotiate and pass along the guide wire. See I am now uh, negotiating it actually and now it has gone into the system. So when once it reaches the system confirm your needle tip uh, whether it is in the system or not by uh, injecting contrast from below. Now you see the tip of the Alcan cannula is actually in the system. Now I am removing the inner sheath. Now the outer sheath is uh, is there now the then the guide rod is passed through the alkens cannula and now the uh, dilatation continues so the serial dilatation should always be done under fluoro guidance your cm should be in zero degree um, or uh, particularly in superior calcial puncture in the reverse 30 position to see the uh, depth of dilatation so here see you, uh, that uh, dilator has gone a little bit uh, forward so i am repositioning it back so that it lies exactly in the calyx. See, I am pulling it actually. So this this is what you have to do every time. Now finally the ampullar sheath is being passed into the superior calyx. And uh, the confirmation would be when once you remove the dilator side, you see free flow of urine coming out. So here I am demonstrating why a superior calyxal uh, puncture is beneficial when compared to an inferior calyxal puncture, particularly when you are dealing with uh, stag one stone. See, you can see my nephroscope, how it goes when you do a superior calyxal puncture. You can reach the inferior calyx very easily because it is in a dependent posture. That is how the axis of kidney was. Suppose if you do an inferior calyxal puncture from below, the buttock will come in, in between whenever you are trying to access the superior calyx. So you will have difficulty in reaching the superior calyx because you have to climb up 
to reach the superior calyx which is ergonomically not good so that's why when you do a superior calyx puncture you can see the ease you can just go from above and you can reach wherever uh, whichever area in the kidney you want particularly in a case like this so that's what i am showing here now this is the after the dilatation you see how i entered the superior calyx you can see the see the stone there so how the uh, how you know that you have done a correct puncture so the, whenever you did do a correct puncture you see the infundibulum in front of you so i am showing that in this case see after analyzing see the infundibulum there the ample arch when, when i when i have pulled it out you see the infundibulum in front of you so that itself suggests that you have entered at the periphery of the calyx um, also uh, the stone in this case was very soft you can see here uh, which is easily broken with the lithoclast so the density of the stone also uh, decides the duration of surgery like in this case even though it is a stagon stone we could able to finish this clear this stone within 15 minutes so it didn't took more than that so after clearing the stone <laughs> now i am showing the, how a superior calyxal access uh, helps you that you can easily go into the ureter see that is the site of the ureter which i am showing here and then when you come back i can show the inferior uh, calyxial system see this is the inferior calyxis posterior and the anterior calyx in the inferior calyx and then the middle calyxial system this one so you see the mid anterior and mid posterior calyx and then the final would be your superior calyx. I am withdrawing my ampla sheath uh, to go into the superior calyx. So this is the final uh, outcome after that. So this is a superior calyxial system. Slight ooze was there at the end of the procedure. And then uh, this is the fluoroscope image where complete clearance was done. And you can see the nephrostomy being placed in position. Thank you.